Harris is leading in Michigan with a, by a small lead, a greater lead in Wisconsin, according to the latest polls. Of course, this comes on the heels of the polls uh, yesterday, uh, New York Times showing that she is trailing in the Sun Belt states. However, you know, this came up the last time there was a big uh, New York Times poll. Uh, it The polling seems to think that Democratic turnout is going to be higher in the Rust Belt states than in the um, than in the Sun Belt states, which is, I mean, maybe a valid assumption, maybe not. Arizona does have abortion on the ballot, so it's that's sort of Nevada. Hard, uh, hard to imagine. But uh, that's you know, take the take it for what it's worth. I mean, the polls, you know, nothing well, of uh, none is- of them. The Times has been skewing more favorably to the Republicans now for two polls in a row. And, you know, that they're an A-plus poll, but they also thought more had more rosy picture about the midterms as well. So we'll see if that pattern holds in terms of some of the pollsters being a little bit more tilted towards Republicans like they were in 2022. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, take it for a grain of salt. Nevertheless... Um, Harris uh, on Wisconsin Public Radio today said that uh, she supports ending the 60 vote threshold uh, to advance legislation in the Senate. That's the filibuster uh, in the instance of abortion law. And this is relevant for uh, for two reasons. One, um, if the Democrats managed to maintain a 50-50 split with a uh, Democratic vice president being the tiebreaker. Two of the people who are against this, at least one of them, Joe Manchin, uh, and maybe Kristen Sinema, I mean, it's hard to tell, in terms of suspending the filibuster rule, are gone. And there's no indication of the people that would come in to um, replace them. Let's say there's a... uh, a pickup or there's no loss of of democratic uh, uh senate races testers looking a little bit weak but we'll see um but all red i think uh who potentially could win it's a potential win in florida as well uh both those candidates have voice of support in nebraska um uh the independent um uh, Canada. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, Olson. Now, uh, where he is on uh, abortion rights, but it may not uh, be Olson. I'm sorry if I got that name wrong. Um, sorry about that. Uh, nevertheless, pro- Dan Osborne, not Olson. Apologies. Osborne. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we'll check on that. But this is a big deal. What's also interesting is that she hasn't. She hasn't taken. Uh, she hasn't been expl- as explicit on just about any other position. Uh, outside of this, in terms of like some of the big uh, issues like uh, dreamers, she's been quiet on, um, you know, to, to the extent that she's backed off some of her uh, positions from 2020. This is one where where she hasn't obviously has a lot of uh, electoral salience and we'll see. However, it could be too little too late and completely moot. Because Donald Trump has a message for American women. Remember, Donald Trump, how many was it? Was it 17 that he was um, accused of molesting? Or one of, sexually, is, or, sexually yeah, assault, assaulting, assaulting. Or misconduct. Um, yeah, I mean, you was may it be 17 or was it more? But let's be also be clear. He yeah. was found in a civil court. The finding of defamation against him from E. Jean Carroll, the judge also found that wasn't a criminal standard, not beyond a a reasonable doubt, but certainly uh, the preponderance of the evidence was that Donald Trump had raped E. Jean Carroll. Liable for sexual battery found in that civil case. And so... um, But Donald Trump has a a, a message for American women. Don't worry, I'm coming. Sadly, women are poorer than they were four years ago. Much poorer. Are less healthy than they were four years ago. Are less safe on the streets than they were four years ago. Are paying much higher prices for groceries and everything else than they were four years ago. 
are more stressed and depressed and unhappy than they were four years ago and are less optimistic and confident in the future than they were four years ago. I believe that. I will fix all of that and fast, and at long last, this nation and national nightmare will end. It will See, end. We've got to end this rhyme national there. nightmare. Because I am your protector. I want to be your protector. As president, I have to be your protector. I hope you don't make too much of it. I hope the fake news doesn't go, oh, he wants to be their protector. Well, I am. As president, I have to be your protector. I will make you safe at the border, on the sidewalks of your now violent cities, in the suburbs where you are under migrant criminal siege, and with our military protecting you from foreign enemies, of which we have many today because of the incompetent leadership that we have. You will no longer be abandoned, lonely, or scared. Whoa. You will no longer be in danger. You're not going to be in danger any longer. Be in danger. You will no longer have anxiety from all of the problems our country has today. You will be protected, and I will Everything. be the protector. Women. Women. Women will be happy. Healthy, confident, and free. Yes. You will no longer be thinking about abortion. So all they talk no, about. No, no, no. Because <laughs> you've done something that nobody else could have done. It is now where it always had to be with the states and a vote of the people. Yeah. I- I, I am uh, I am largely speechless. I you have nothing to worry about. The I will slowly place my hand over your mouth and make it impossible for you to breathe. Just 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 and close as, your eyes. And close your eyes, and as life slowly escapes you, you won't have to worry about anything. It will be almost Finally like Jim Jordan. Back. Hasn't you're, put somebody in the doctor's room with you. <laughs> <laughs> he's you're giving. Finally, you have comfort. No more anxiety. He's giving no the like. Worries. Oh, sorry. Uh, the DMT pitch, right? <laughs> For women, it, like that, the hormone that gets released when you die. That's what Joe Rogan says is the transformative experience. Or it's like uh, under his presidency, women, you're all going to get frostbite all over your body but you know it'll hurt for a while but it gets warm the longer and, it and goes on total numbness. yeah um you won't be thinking about abortion he's just like trying to hypnotize the audience <laughs> like, like like the big issue that's hurting me with women if i get elected you're not even gonna be thinking about it <laughs> every time you think of abortion you will drink a seltzer <laughs> and then the abortion feeling will go away. You know what's amazing though about this? This was written. Like, I know. This, like, uh, like I don't know if it was Stephen Miller who wrote this, but somebody Conway. wrote this. It doesn't sound like Miller because it sounds like he's literally acting as a messianic Jesus figure. That I will freedom from want, freedom from pain, freedom from anything that's making your life more difficult. I mean, he's just leaning into his cult leader thing with, it, it, and, and applying it to women. <laughs> it also feels like to me at one point he goes. Women are anxious. You're tired. You're worried. It a little bit literally snappy. reads like he's like copy pasted some focus group test, right? Or like some te- you know some result. I'm telling you, it's true. And then he says like it's true. I think that's true. Yeah. <laughs> he's reading yeah. it off. Gosh. Like it- Oh, boy. Look, I was going to vote for Kamala Harris, but now Trump is saying that he's going to solve everything in my life and I'll have and won't want for anything. He's going to solve my menstrual cramps. Just so gosh. excited for Trump to It'll solve all go away. PMS. Hi, folks. Hey, you've heard me criticize how the mainstream media across the political spectrum either fails to report on important stories or prioritizes their own bias over balanced and comprehensive news coverage. Well, That's why I use Ground News as a solution on a daily basis. Longtime sponsors gather related news 
and add important context so you can understand how each outlet reports on it and maybe sometimes skews the facts. This and being so close to the presidential election, you're going to see rhetoric against uh, Harris and Tim Walls is only going to intensify. So I can't recommend enough that you check out Ground News's election page. My vantage plan gets me access to their election focused blind spot feed and diverse perspectives on each candidate so I can find the truth on who they really are, not just hear the loudest, most biased opinions and areas where, frankly, the left or the right is not covering. For each story you read on their platform, you're going to find article Ground News found reporting on it, as well as tags to the next source indicating if they're independently owned or not, how credible their reporting is, and if they have any political bias one way or another, making it really easy to critically analyze different perspectives and come to your own conclusions. Their mission aligns so much with what we try to do on this show. We try and make you more media literate. So I can't recommend enough going to ground.news slash majority or scanning my QR code to subscribe. Ground News is independent and subscriber supported. My viewers, however, will save 40% on the same vantage plan that I use for unlimited access to all their features on a daily basis. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.